Still developing this late hour, one of the world's biggest manufacturers of metals admits now it lied about how strong its products are. And we're talking metals used for major and important things like your car, the plane you fly in. Denver 7's Jason Grenauer is here to tell us how far this goes. Well, it's Kobe Steel. That's the company. They provide raw materials for companies all over the world. And what we're talking about is rolled aluminum and copper products and employees that falsified its strength. This is where we know some of those metals came from. Toyota has said it found this kind of metal in hoods, doors, and other areas of the vehicle. Honda says it falsified material ended up in car doors and hoods. Mazda says it uses Kobe aluminum from that company. Suzuki and Mitsubishi are checking, but it's not just cars. Trains in the UK use Kobe's aluminum. So do planes for Japan's Defense Force and even Boeing airplane wings. And a rocket just launched by Japan's government to send up a satellite also could have that falsified data metal. Okay, so these five cars represent those five car companies we were talking about that either do or could have those falsified metals in them. And then there's that plane, train, and rocket ship. But Kobe also supplies metal as parts and pieces, which could be low strength to over 200 companies worldwide. That big of an impact leads to a substantial cost. An outside expert tells Bloomberg the estimated recall cost for all of this could top $133 million. But we can tell you at this hour, no recalls have been announced by that company, this initial release, no recalls despite that cost. But because of the reach of this, it could take a long time to sort all this that out. It could be very, very And we big. know you'll stay on top of it. Thank so, you. Thanks, Jason.